Well, here we go um, to the job centre for signing on. Um, rocking the new T-shirt, if you can see that. So, I'm going to see what the reaction is. Um, I'm going to record audio only at first, you know, um, because they might not even say anything and everything might go all right. But if they start being funny and um, you know it's getting to the point where it needs to be exposed, I'll bring the camera out and um, we'll capture video as well. Right, cheers, folks. Have you made that yourself? Yeah, yeah. Designed it yourself? Yeah, well, I started a campaign. She got sanctioned unlawfully yeah. three times in a row. Yeah. And I'm just on job sale. Yeah. You know, it's people on the ESA, you know, the same one, dying yeah. cancer. You're not getting anything, you know. So, oh, I'm waiting for the same one. Nice one, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. How old are you? Um, 34, over 25. Same. Yeah, but I've got a website, the sanctioned job seeker. You know, look on there, you know. yeah, just documenting what they've been doing. The likes of my MP, yeah. um, Craig Whitaker. You love them too? Yeah, yeah, saying that they haven't been doing this and other. So I'm meeting with him in a couple of weeks. Um, oh, he will say they've been lying. And it's something like, yeah, that's what you want to be doing. Being the just told him loads of lies. Mm. Five different lies. And, you know, I'll do that one if you like. Nice and warm. Yeah, all goes well. Yeah, it is, mate. If you look on your system, they've update, updated my um, claim and commitment and everything. Um, I haven't got the letter. I was going to bring it with me. It's all right, I'll look on you. Um, um, but yeah, essentially, um, when we came to sign on last time, they um, updated the claim and commitment and basically said, well, now that you're on the NEA programme, they retrospectively put me back onto it and from the 25th of July, even though it should have been the 3rd of July. And then they said, um, your job search now consists of taking the steps required under the NEA programme. Um, such as attending your mentor meetings. Uh, so when are you hoping to... So they did do an ASC, which is what I'm saying would be what we would do now, actively seeking, because you lost four weeks, didn't you? I, I don't understand. But they disallowed your claim. Um, yeah, I've had three sanctions on there. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm saying. On here, on our team, I mean, we all work slightly different. The first thing we look at here is your 
universal job match you can't have. If you aren't you know, typing in and putting all the things on that you should, then today your money stops. But what do you mean from that? Uh, you've got to be actively seeking employment yeah, all the time. I know you're doing yourself employment, but had that not to progress for any reason, I hope it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> then what you're doing, there isn't anything that you're doing that you couldn't be doing if you got a part time or a full time job. You know, there's still ways to look, work around it. But anyway. Obviously, um, that's going down another road. So, we'll get you signed today. I'll check with them. But what I'm saying is, from our team, that is definitely what you would need to be doing. Oh, no, I understand that, yeah. I mean, this is the issues I've had with the previous sanctions and why they've been overturned, you know, in law, because I know my rights with it in law, and you know, what I'm legally required to do for the various things, and, um, more so than any advisor here by the sounds of it, unfortunately. I mean, hence the campaign, you know, no more benefit sanctions. I've had to do this because no advisor here, no government body is helping me when I've been sanctioned unlawfully. My first sanction got overturned because it was unlawful. The, sanct the advisor lied, the manager covered it up. My MP is getting involved and I'm meeting in a couple of weeks to discuss what lies have been told about me and what lies were told to the MP. The NEA programme, as you'll see on the claim and commitment, under that rules, and you can check the rules if you want, um, all I'm required to do is take steps to go towards self-employment, fulfil my business plan, attend my mentor meetings, request help when I need it, and take steps to get my business set up, which I am doing, Come, get a new website up, they've um, refined my business plan as per the request from a mentor, submitting that, and I've got until the 8th of September to do so, and in the meantime I'm taking steps to get my website up and running, hone my skills, I've set this website up um, as a portfolio piece as well, you know, so I, I am fulfilling the requirements of the NEA programme. Right, that's fine, sign there, but I, I will be checking it myself, obviously. Yeah, so I, I want to know, I mean, yeah, well, if we can check it now, because I, I don't want to leave here thinking that you're going to refer me for a doubt for a sanction. I, I want a final answer before I sign this. Right. Please. Well, to you, I mean, but, if, I, I if mean, there isn't anybody here that can just answer it, well, then uh, you can come back later if I can't just buy it. Yeah, if they ever give you any wrong advice, just check out that website, the sanctioned job seeker, you know, because they survival guides on there, what the can and can't do. See each time I've been down, they always sign sanctions. I'm on the same way for self-employment, and now she can't really return to the sanctions, but she doesn't know what to do. I do, I'm aware of the legislation of this, but she doesn't know it. And that's what you get here. Your oh. findings don't have anything. So don't take on the call. It's covert in the call all the time. You know, we'll answer you all. There's no worries. The they'll then get it. Check me out down Sunday. Um, and I prevent you and me, anyone else you've got from getting it. Right. What I am doing is I, I've just asked her. And she said, and I, I'm just going to check, that within the... Is that recording? Is what recording? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's a video camera. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Is it, what? Is it recording what? No. Does it look like it's recording? I have no idea. No? I mean, it's, right, it, it seems you don't have an idea of a lot of things. <laughs> Um, so what I've did she say? Her, she said if it's within the first eight weeks, so um, are you within the first eight weeks of your mentor? Well, have a look. Yes, I am. I've been on the NEA programme, as I explained, from your systems on, since the 25th of July, as I said earlier. 25th and then the 6th. Oh, started the 25th of July. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, you could have checked that, couldn't you? You know, prior to so, saying that you were going to refer me so, for a sanction, really. No, it was the way you said it. No, I haven't been, I'm doing it. All you needed to say was that that's what you're doing. I told you I was on the NEA programme. Yeah. Now, on ours, 
on the people I've had on it, the bowl was still being actively seeking. Yeah, do, do you know, I'll tell you the reasons for that, right? Because when you get referred on to it from yourselves, you go for your initial meeting with um, West Yorkshire Enterprise mm. Agency, mm. they say yay or nay, you're accepted yeah. onto it as yeah. soon as you get the email, which I got on the 3rd of July. I told Emma Coyle here on the 4th of July when I came to sign on that I'd been accepted onto it. She updated the system, but she still referred me for a sanction because advisors here incorrectly think that when you're accepted on the NEA programme, when you have your first mentor meeting, you're not. You're accepted when the job centre gets that email or the claimant gets the email from the West Yorkshire Enterprises Agency. That's when you get accepted onto it. They should notify you. Um, the confusion with the job centre staff is that um, that interim period between accepted and your first mentor meeting, the job centre staff act, you know, mistakenly accept you from when you have your first mentor meeting. Now under the NEA rules, that's incorrect. So people are getting sanctioned in between that time because they're being told they have to fill in the business plan, and etc. Um, and then it comes to when they sign on, and when you th believe that you're on the NEA programme and have an email to say you're accepted, and then you get, to get told, no, you should be actively seeking employment. You haven't applied for any jobs, so yeah. you're getting sanctioned. And that's incorrect in law. That's so what I'm trying to get at here. The, uh, by the 26th of September, you're going to be um, in employment and you hope. That, well, on, that's when it ends. On the, I've got until the 8th of September um, to finish that initial eight weeks mentorship. Mm. From then, I've got um, 26 weeks to actually be supported with the NEA allowance at the full rate. A further time oh yeah, but you'll sign off, you won't come into the, you don't need to come into the job centre during no. that time. No, I will, I have to come in and sign, uh, sign fortnightly. Oh do you? I'm so, is it different on 25 plus mine don't you? Well, I mean, what, this is what I mean, why is it a revelation? I mean, I'm not getting at you, but why aren't you being told about the NEA programme? Or why aren't you being I do, with the I NEA have NEA people plan? on it now. Well, why didn't you know that? They did, mine only come in every so many weeks. They don't come in every fortnight to sign. Every fortnight to sign because technically you're still on job seekers allowance. That's but right. under the NEA scheme. Mm. Yeah, so it's fortnightly you still come and sign your declaration to get your I credits, etc. And you didn't know that? I mean, come on. The, uh, would you sign? Uh, oh, you have signed. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, what is the outcome? Are you going to refer me? Or? No, no, I'm putting your evidence in. Put so, so you're satisfied that I have met yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I've been checked and I've done what I could, but as I say, with oh, people who are on with me, they, I ask them all to continue to search for work because sometimes you might just find something. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair enough. I mean, but it's not a requirement in law to do that. I mean, that's well, the distinction because once you're on the NEA program, program, you're being accepted because you want to work for yourself or you've got a viable business plan. Yeah. So if you are saying, "Oh, go and get a job," while well, people are working towards their dreams, that's incorrect. It's unlawful. You can't do it. Stop advising people incorrectly like that. Educate yourself with it. What they're doing is they are looking for work to help support them. Yeah, we're all doing that. That's what I'm doing. I, I couldn't get a job in all that time when I was unemployed on JSA. I had to run this self-employment programme, so I was unfairly dismissed. You know, there was no prospect of getting a job in, at the same level, so I went self-employed. So that's my quick route back into employment. You know, we all want to support ourselves. We don't want to be on benefits. Can I just show you that? I've put your evidence in. It's live. And right. Your account showing, so yeah. have your money will just go out as normal. Right, thank you. But oh, would, you make, would you make me a promise to just add, you know, read up about the NEA stuff? Don't incorrectly advise me because it's people like me who are suffering. We're getting a lot of hassle for it. You know. But the people who I put on NEA haven't. I would like to think who have all gone into South Africa. And I've never, I would have heard, would have never considered themselves to be hassled by I've yeah. just asked them to continue to work with me, and they have done. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. In, a limited in my case, I have been hassled, and all I want is to get self employed and offer benefits. I got sacked from my job in March, you know, I was earning £1,700 a month, and now earn £1,700 in six months. You know, that's how bad it is for me. And yeah. then I come to the job centre, I've been sanctioned three times in a row, 
you're incorrectly were going to refer me for a sanction. And if I hadn't have told you about it, you would have done. No, I wouldn't yeah. have done without checking. Yeah, but you said you were going to yes. do it. You know. What I'm saying to if it was your attitude saying. to me. What well, actually, yeah. I, I, I just said I'm on the NEA yeah. program, yeah. and there's different rules for it. Yeah. And he says I've got to apply for jobs, but I don't in law. Like I don't well, in law. You were incorrect. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. That's all yeah. I want. You know, right. I just want okay. people to be aware of the law, be treated with respect, and not hassled. I've been hassled. That's why I might be a bit confrontational. Okay. Yeah. But you are confrontational, which is why, obviously. But in what way? I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you, informing you of the law and, and trying to stand up for myself to prevent a crime being committed. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, I appreciate what you've said, but anyway, we signed you today, yeah. and I've apologised for, I'm afraid, doing all that. Right, thank okay? you. Okay. All right, then, Darren. Yeah, so there's definitely no sanction coming. No, no, absolutely not. Thank you. Yeah.